Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space College Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitch here, we're back in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space, where we're trying to take 17 duplicates out into the future as smoothly as possible. Well, we've been doing that through a variety of means. Last time we've got ourselves a nuclear reactor up and running here, and I feel like this means we can start making our way towards maybe some nuclear-powered rockets. I, I really want to watch this one take off. It's just had its last delivery given to it, and so we'll uh, we'll sit here for a moment. Okay, here comes our pilot, Von Braun. One of the uh, few actual qualified pilots I've got on the base here. Okay, let's let them go away. I feel like we could do with a little bit of a scroll out here just to see how big this rocket actually is. I said I want to deal with radiation rockets and one of the things you can see with the rocket is it uh, bellows out quite a bit of steam. Well, it won't be steam in radiation's case, but it will be just as much heat. In fact, more heat that we'll have to be dealing with. Uh, so that's going to be some uh, consideration we have to have on Aragao. But uh, there was uh, someone that we brought onto the team oh, a very, very long time ago now. Someone who we knew would have to end up being a rocket man one day, but unfortunately at the time had to uh, be relegated to being just a cook. Are you not doing Thank God, you, you're completely uh, idle here. Okay, that that's fine. Uh, that uh, obviously means that they can be replaced relatively easily. I've got a mini pod here. I I don't know whether we've got no. We don't we don't have someone who can cook here. I am tempted just to re-roll this a couple of times just by making a save. Thank you very much. And then loading up that save, and we'll we'll just see if something else appears in the archway. Really looking for a chef. That that's that's the pretty much the only thing I want. Man, that took a good couple of minutes. I don't want to do that every couple of seconds. We've got a cooker. Okay, I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them. And of course, given their profession, it seems that, uh, like a great idea to call them Pasteur, named after Louis Pasteur, French microbiologist, uh, figured out that you didn't have to boil stuff to uh, to completely kill all the germs on it. You could just warm stuff up a little bit and therefore not ruin the rest of your food uh, trying to defend against little germs. Uh, we're going to come in and give them, of course, where, where are you, Mr. Pastor? Uh, grilling. It, it, it's the main thing that you're here to do, but of course the fact that you can pick up stuff and carry is also a very, very good th thing to do there. Uh, I need to, of course, as with every new duplicate that's set turns up, sort this out. I need to pause and find out why people are getting hot. That shouldn't be a thing. We'll give you cooking and a little bit of supplying there. Goddard, uh, you need to stop doing these things. I mean, I guess you can go around and do some supplying and some storing uh, whilst we figure out what this is. But we, we need to, um, oh, we, we definitely need to build a new rocket for you. We're going to take you over to Irrigal, where we're going to build ourselves a nice rocket silo here. We might have to move some of these things over this side, but I think that's fine. Build ourselves a rocket silo, capture the heat down below. Maybe we could use these to capture the heat, but what, what what's going on with Boar? Why? This is hot here. Oh, no, this is hot here. I know that. Oh, no. Okay, we've got stuff that's come from outer space as well. Uh, well, the, the stuff that's come from outer space. I mean, it's quite warm up here. I'm not. I'm not sure if you're aware. <laughs> Yeah, we've got some liquids flowing through here. I think all of this can be fixed with the application of a metal tile. We'll go with uh, aluminium. Looks good. Uh, I also did that, for those of you who have been long-time watchers, uh, I've also done that down here where we've got some magma being turned into igneous rock. It's passed up through two different things. Oh, it didn't happen. O okay, I, well, I must have saved it <laughs> um, before that happened. I'm going to put a metal tile right here for the same purpose, to transfer heat around just a little bit more efficiently because we've got some uh, let's let's have a look here we've got igneous rock at 213 degrees and indeed is uh, 8.2 tons of igneous rock that's quite a lot to deal with but yes building a rocket on Blagodo. we're gonna obviously have a steam engine does it need to be steam uh, steel or can I just build it out of what I'm, I'm gonna have a cobble engine I think I think that's cool we'll, we'll put one of those down there uh, we're gonna of course need do we need more than just the spacefarer module? Uh, we'll build that, build that our gold amalgam. That's good to take with us. Mostly, I'm just thinking about what our uh, what our base over at Irrigal could could do with. 
I think I'm mostly good just to send him across in, in this. And then when, when we've got everything sorted, let me press F7. Yeah, we've got a, a steam line in place. And then when we've got everything sorted and flown him over, we can just dismantle it. Okay, so looking over here, I need to rip down this solar panel uh, because we need to try and line up the uh, the input of the engine with this interplanetary launcher. I need to go see where, where, how high that would be. All of this, and I'm just going to... Oh, no. That, that's what I wanted uh, because we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna have a look. Oh no! Oh, there is there is another problem, a deep dark secret that I've been sat on for some time. We're gonna go over to Reverse Lynn. We're gonna make sure that we've got where where are they here? Okay, so we've got uh, material study, a virtual planetarium, a supercomputer, and a research station. That's right. We're going back to the R and D labs. We've not done a whole bunch of stuff over here. Uh, one of the things we need, like here they are, radiation propulsion. Uh, you can see that we've got all of this research done. But if I just follow this out oh, oh no what what is this we've not done that one and we've also not done this one so we need to get transit tubes first maybe uh, the problem is i've got a lot of very hot bases and i'll just melt loads of those uh transport tubes there but we'll get transport tubes up and running uh we'll also have a meteor blaster and i hear there's a mod out there for turning the meteors on for old save so maybe we'll have a look at that and then finally we'll make our way to the radbolt engine but that's going to take a while over here. And these guys don't have power to these Red Bolt generators because, well, we've not really needed it for some time. So now that we've turned those on, the Red Bolt generators will fire at this reflector, fire down into the material study terminal. That does the yellow uh, research there. The virtual planetarium comes from databanks. I imagine we've got a lot. Yeah, I've got 3,700 units here, so that, that's, that's a fair few databanks that go into the Virtual Planetarium. Uh, they do the orange down at the bottom, uh, and then, of course, the uh, the standard supercomputer research platform for the other two. Uh, the research station does the blue, and the supercomputer does the purple. And the end of the day steals everybody's labor away from me. Disgusting. I'm just going for it. I'm just going to build it here, and if I need to move it down, I need to move it down. I've also been looking at this pretty heavy, and I, I actually am not sure how we're going to solve this. I'm almost tempted to just leave this as a big void of steam, and then move this turbine up to here and allow the steam to come into this little area. Uh, having the super hot and super cold right next to each other might be an interesting challenge. I mean, I've got, I've got some pretty good insulated tile down. If I just make this out of ceramic... Oh, hey, Spitzer, you seem to have caused yourself some trouble. Let, let, let's just do that. Uh, and, of course, I need to fill in this tile because there was a plant there. We, got, we can't have plant matter detecting what we do. Okay, so looking for things to do whilst the uh, the research rolls in. I'm noticing we're getting a lot of hydrogen. It's kind of coming out of this rather dense area of hydrogen we have down here. 27 kilograms in there. No wonder it all comes flowing out of the door. Now, we can make a little airlock here. That will help a little bit. But I feel like we could just kind of move some oxygen around uh, and have that dumping out in other places. Uh, if, for instance, we were to put a gas vent down there, rip down this gas bridge uh, i'm quite happy just to vent that hydrogen out it's it's a small drop in the problems we've got to solve because this uh, this um pump up here is detecting for hydrogen so all we really need to do is just carry on pushing it up and over and I, i'm going to do that with oxygen pressure i think and maybe think a little more about the flow of gases around here like i don't mind that we've got a little bit caught up there but maybe we could loosen some of this up and uh, let some of it escape if we just dig across here. Radiation issues. Who's got... Why Why have you got radiation issues? Why are you even coming over this way? <laughs> maybe we could put some uh, plastic tiles up here. I wonder if we could put them all the way down here. Like People, people are going to get some radiation here. In fact, let's do this quick. That's probably the best way to do it, is just give everyone a short, sharp burst of radiation. Obviously, we don't we don't want them just exposed to small rads. It's a lot of rads all at once. Uh, also, how this has been going, quite well, quite well. You can see not everything is up to full steam, but this guy down here turning over some serious power. We're getting a lot of heat out of this nuclear waste, as we knew it would be uh, a thing. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, radiation, big problems, big problems. Uh, but we're not losing as much heat out of here as I was initially hoping. I, I probably could have worked it out because these steam turbines 
lines are only going to drive the temperature down of the local steam to about 150 and then this thermal aqua tuna is trying to warm that back up maybe if we had ourselves a metal tile here but i'm worried about overheating my um, my aqua tuna so i don't i don't think that's going to be something we do okay the um Plastic is actually going down quite well, and let's see how it does with these areas up here now. Must must do better than sand, right? Surely. There's a lot of a lot of hydrogens involved with plastic, and that's it's pretty good at blocking radiation. These guys are really slow at building. We're only at 300 rads per. Oh, that's that's terrible. Maybe, maybe we should think about how to build some more. <laughs> Okay, two layers was much better. We're down to 90 odd. Oh no, that's because the power just died. How did that happen? How did we allow that to happen? Okay, so it's just picking up a different cycle, All right? I guess that's fine. We've got some delay to wait, but that that's all good. Oh, uh, actually, let's get a look at how much radiation this uh, this little mess down here is giving off. 440 as opposed to 375. Like 375 is up, so like that that that's a lot. Ooh, and the power's back on. Yeah, something something like an extra 150 rads per second from that. That's a, an extra 15 uh, a cycle. Okay, the other thing I want to do is maybe be a little bit more generous with the temperatures here. Let's try 225. Uh, if, if, you, if you get below 225, then start pumping. Uh, hopefully that, that will work out better. Uh, all right, have we had it? I mean, I've not heard any research here. I wonder why not, because uh, we, we must be limited by only this. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, applied sciences. Oh, we actually do need some more advanced research uh, from the supercomputer as well. Waiting for a water delivery. And finally, if if we're just going ahead and building the radiation rocket on Blagolia, we will uh, build this little module all over again. Uh, I think it will be fine. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. We get we get that up. We'll get Goddard back over. I mean, I'm not sure whether they can actually support three p. They they must do. They they built up a load of food, so they must be able to support more than was originally here. Okay, there's our first research, transit tubes, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, another thing I'm trying to do is just slowly get down and underneath of here. I can't build a staircase without trapping this little bit of magma in here. Uh, so I want to try and build, build up instead. I, th I feel like we should be able to do that. It's pretty hot abyssalite here, but we're slowly squidging down. We're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Uh, it's at the point where the machines turn back off as well, so that, that's that's not great. Uh, we also had put this gas vent down. Do we need to go further? I think we might need to. Someone's, no one's come along and dug these out. I know people have the skills, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask someone to come do so. Well, we are about to drop some sand, but I think I'm okay with that. Okay, I managed to not just drop it on the floor, but we put a tile there in, in its place. If I thought about it, we probably could have put another tile there. But having a little trap bit of vacuum's not bad either. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Oh, and of course, we have transit tubes in. That mean, now means we're working on jetpacks and jet suits and stuff like that, which I'm not going to give, like, very consciously not going to give my uh, my duplicates access to because that suddenly increases their pathfinding by ridiculous amounts. If I have a, an actual use for it, I will use it, but uh, not as it stands. But whilst we watch our duplicates go around and produce the science, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that helped me produce my science. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that got along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made sure that me and my channel can continue on comfortably into the future. As I'm sure many of you know, right now I am at university studying astrophysics, getting my science on, and it's really nice to have the support of these beautiful, beautiful people to mean that I do have some time that's not entirely just staring at numbers so from the very very bottom of my heart i have to say thank you thank you so much well we've got a definite issue here and one that i'm not sure i know how to solve without making some of my duplicates rather ill i think i'm going to take a uh, liquid pipe uh, so, so what, what's happening here uh, i followed someone else's design and they were like make sure the top six turbines are feeding back into the reactor now it turns out that for some reason even though they're taking priority there is not enough water being consumed uh, and this means that 
the the uh, the top areas over here. This steam turbine, it's got its pipe blocked, which means it's not turning on, despite the fact that it probably could. Uh, I'm not that bothered at the moment because it's not it's not getting ridiculously over hot here. But one of the things that is supposed to happen is that the water's supposed to be removed. Now the temporary fix that I, oh no, not that one. Uh, the temporary fix that I've got in mind for it is not going to solve the fact that the water is not being removed but it is going to stop these turbines turning off i need an alarm in here most definitely because if the uh, the pressure in here gets too much my reactor will explode and i'm, I'm not sure if you can tell tell from my tone of voice that is just really not what I want. Okay, so we need to let these guys back in here now, and that that's probably going to be the scariest bit. What if we don't let anybody other than... Man, why, why aren't the duplicates that are only on this asteroid the ones that are the default up here? This seems a, a little unfortunate. Okay, well, I mean, we know Spitzer wants to be able to go in. He, he's the person who's going to be able to do this for us. I'm going to just turn that on high and hopefully before he even gets breakfast he's, he's gonna go take care of that let's follow let's follow him through and see if it works yeah as we can see it's top of his list right here higher than in disinfecting the outhouses we really should fix those out what why why the big hang up this that that was much longer than normal i wonder i wonder why what's up what's it doing what's it calculating there's gonna there's gonna have been something there that I needed to know about, no doubt. Oh well, oh well. Uh, Spitzer is making their way across. Hopefully the only one with access, so it should where Where are you going? Ah, oh, you're going to put in... Mm, okay, I, I see my issue here. They've, they've gone to do the bridge. Yeah, okay, well I'm just going to allow that. I mean, there, there was nothing I could really do other than like giving them a direct order to walk the other way. Uh, and I think that's fine. What, where are you going now? Did you not get enough in one? Okay. I'm also making it out of Wolframite for some reason, which will be okay. Even in a lead suit right next to the reactor, his the rads are going up, which, you know, makes sense, makes a lot of sense. Uh, but yeah, ouch, ouch. All right, we're now moving a bit of water out a bit faster, and we seem to have more water going in to the, uh, into the reactor there. That's good. This top row are going to get priority over this uh, side row here for going into the reactor, but anything that overflows will go straight into the vent. That should hopefully give us a better way of doing the what why wait what's what's going wrong why why is there water on the floor i'm not sure what's happened there and i don't like it i can do nothing but allow it for now oh no i put i pushed him too far spitz has gone too far uh it's, it's all right it's all right uh, i i got him to put this hydro sensor in so we wouldn't actually overflow the nuclear waste it looked like it was going to happen we have also been getting some overheating damage here and uh, i'm sorry spitzer i really know i really know but we need to try and get some uh, some aluminium in there some aluminium piping in there uh, as we've got a cooling loop going through and uh, it's right next to something that's overheating so let, let's 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 make that work, but um, ooh, ooh, I went to the wrong place, but look at that radiation. Yeah, it, it's going to be bad for a bit. Hopefully no one can die of radiation. Actually, let, let's focus the efforts. Okay, that, that has instantly started bringing the temperature down. That, that's good. That's what we wanted to do. I could have just upgraded it past lead, but we're fine. Look at the number of rad bolts that are getting past here. I need somehow to stop this eating all of it, though. <laughs> Because it do be eating all of it. Okay, another research. We've got those jetpacks in. Let's go and have a look at everyone on reverse Lynn. Let's get rid of that as well. Uh, okay, the work is going on well. You might have seen that I put the mesh tile in here to uh, catch any of the uh, solid nuclear... Well, sorry, the liquid nuclear waste that comes off of the rad bolts when this is full. Uh, I also shuffled the priorities around to make sure that actually it probably would never become full again. But, you know, we'll, we'll cover both bases there. Uh, up here, the, the dig continues. We're, do we're doing pretty well. If I mark that one for destruction and then these should all get done immediately afterwards we should then have access to get down and under i th i think so i think we could then start thinking about deleting this one here and obviously this one will uh, follow along afterwards fill those in and then we start just tunneling our way up yeah 
Now, if there was one thing I really wish they put blueprints in this game for, it's for dealing with empty rocket pods. Oh, man. I mean, we don't, we literally only want to move him. Oh, Spitzer, I'm I'm sorry. What, what are you up to right now? Oh, no, look at the mess. Look at the mess. Uh, so I, I think we just need to put some beds in and stuff. We're only moving him. We're not going to do any serious stuff with this capsule. I mean, if we do make it nice, uh, let's let's have a look at the rocket tree because, of course, one of the things we want to take with us is the telescope. So we'll, I'll slam that up in the top corner. I'm, I've got a feeling I'm just about to replicate every build I've ever made ever. <laughs> We have a wall toilet on this wall. We're going to put a bedroom at the top. And of course, just to because they sleep for a long time, we'll throw some uh, some plastic up there as well. Give them a super nice bed. It would be cool if we could. I think we're going to go with the bouncy castle. Classic doors to seal it off. Okay, so we're going to be going up and down here. I feel like we could put um, some some gases and uh, gas management and stuff like that on there why is kelvin still but why are you even going in oh because i've not this this is something i've not set up uh huh uh so one thing i'd noticed people were getting scolded walking around and delivering to the uh to the the kiln down here so i've asked for a conveyor loader to be put in that will take the coal from this spot down and leave it in the conveyor receptacle and then this auto sweeper can do the job uh so let's for the moment just kind of close that off and see if people can go around and do the work. What what were you doing just standing there, Kelvin? I don't understand. For demonstration purposes, I've got board to deliver some off here. I've put it on a fairly low priority, you know, eight. Uh, so it should only take some... Wait, what? Yeah, okay, all right. I, th I thought that was emptying straight out underneath there. I was like, did I did I make a mistake? But no, no, it just happened to be some some timings there. Uh, so when the coal gets delivered off to the conveyor recept receptacle, uh, you can see that it gets delivered to the kiln. And once the kiln does its job, it gets put back onto this other route, which then delivers it up to the top here. Spitzer, my, my friend. It's always the same spot as well. Oh, it's because that's where you're working. Okay. We've got we to gotta do something about you hanging out in these radiation hotspots, man. It's a problem. So from my careful observation, it seems like the, the water gets taken in every time this backs up to about here. Meaning that really only the top ones were needed to be fed in there. I don't think I've ever seen this be needed to top up any of this uh, input line here. Yeah, no, that's that's the exact same system again. Okay, so it takes four steam turbines, not even running with enough steam to be able to top this up. Does that mean that I'm going to have some backfill anyway because it's doing it at the moment? without this one running oh yeah i could definitely see some some problems happening and also toilets are you kidding me do, do you not see how many toilets we've got i wonder whether spitz is actually going to be able to lose the rads that he's got he keeps going out obviously to be able to uh, to deal with a lot of this stuff up here um i hope that he's going to be okay that should be fine right he loses 100 rads every time he goes to the toilet I didn't see how many he was on last night. Maybe, maybe we should pay some more careful attention to uh, to our boy here. Okay, I've been letting the game run for a bit because if I don't, I just chatter away and fill up the uh, the, the episode with minutia. We've had a little bit of a melty situation up here. Of course the plastic was going to melt. It's exposed to ridiculously hot uh, nuclear waste. Oh, oh well, well, we'll leave it there for now because it does appear to be doing the job that it needs to do mo mostly. Mostly we're doing okay there. Uh, we had a little bit of a problem with the liquid pump overheating, so I've changed this thermo sensor to, hey, if, it, if we're too high start dumping a whole bunch of stuff out of there i've also moved this uh, liquid vent over here so we're cooling it down constantly as oh well you might see we've got some combats over here that's because we've got a whole but oh, are you not being beaten up there we go uh we were getting uh some petroleum dumped in the line down here and uh where, where is it right here. I, don't, I don't know what to do with that we're just gonna let it let it go through and when it gets stuck somewhere we will deal with it there looking over at the research oh we're so close we're so close, but there's a little bit of a bottleneck there, and I'm sure you can see it as well as I can. The material study terminal, uh, it's not it's not doing as well as it could do, so I'm going to go ahead and 
yeah, yeah, radiation is a problem over there. Let's, let's not worry about that for now. What I am going to do is rip down these wheeze warts and uh, build myself uh, in the radiation. We're going to build ourselves a radiation lamp right here. I, I do need to build another wall here, but hopefully that will speed up the uh, the production of our rad bolts and it can all just uh, filter through beautifully. I need someone to come over and do this, but Franklin, I mean, she's very busy doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, uproots have been uprooted, placements have been placed, and here comes Rutherford with the only amount of uh, uranium ore that we've got here. Let's have a look and see what the numbers are at now. 101, better than the uh, the 87 we had. Not quite as much better as I was hoping for, uh, because at the moment we are hitting a mere, or oh, I don't know, 10, 10 rads a cycle, something like that. We want to try and hit that much higher. So this is now doing 13 science a cycle that's basically how the rad bolts work out uh, and over here we've got close to a hundred so uh, yeah may maybe plank coming through to do the mopping okay well i suppose this old job can actually be taken care of average rads of 14 per cycle that that's okay that's okay let's keep an eye on the actual radiation exposure here yeah i think we can we can survive from this Okay, this might not be the smartest plan I've had, but Chandra can easily take the applied science research. I can turn off the delivery of the sand going to Blagolia. Uh, no, sorry, going back to uh, Reverse Lynn. And hopefully now, just the sheer weight of rad bolts coming in towards the material study but terminal over here should give us a huge boost to science spitzer how you doing with your rads mate let's have a quick look oh you've gone up and and you're still going up just by chilling there okay we we need to give you something to do somewhere down here like a recreation center or something like that uh just to, just to get them out of the way of all the rads because uh my my protection from space i mean like look at this like look at this i should definitely extend this over this way a little bit and uh, just make it a little bit safer for everyone uh, over on blagolia i realize i don't have any water for the space pharaoh module it's pretty much the only thing stopping me going now uh, that and power but let's get a a little bit of a water pipe going in from here i could store a lot but i'm only going to store a little uh, in the same way that we've, i've I've got a lot of gas pipe back here to store oxygen, uh, but I also need to get power in here. I forgot all about that. Coming back out to Begolia, we need to some way in here maybe squeeze in a battery module. Uh, if we can connect that to the grid, that would also be handy. Looks like we've got a few connection points over here. This says it's potentially overloading, so maybe not using that one. Maybe we'll set up our own little power system coming off of here. We're going to need it for the water purification system anyway. Pumping from just this random... Uh, random pool of polluted water that we've got here uh, have we had any come into the moment no not not yet not yet i want i want to watch some of these go though this this guy is really filling up fast so i'm about it Okay, there goes one bolt. It should hopefully go past this. I've turned the switch off for the launching. I don't know whether that means it's going to fill up its meter first before... Ooh, that was quite... Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to fill up before the material study bay uh, can get going. Back on reverse, Lynn. How are we doing over here? I mean, it looks like we're going fine. Looks like we're going fine. Uh, another thing that I need to do, of course, is turn this on and off uh, when Chandra is actually working because at the moment the rad bolts will just come along and hit her in the side of the head and i kind of don't want to do that yeah it's definitely 10 rads to one science so we, we really need to get the amount of rad bolts we're producing per cycle just through the roof ideally rad bolts per second would be nice but we're not getting that on the uh, on the side of our reactor here so i don't don't think we're going to get that anywhere else we we are getting quite a few rad bolts coming through every cycle uh we're, get, we're getting close to filling this up i assume 200 is where this is full uh indeed we're just about to maybe fire that across let's speed up time a little bit and uh fill this all the way up i don't like running at this speed at this point when there's so much going on in my uh okay some passed on that was good i thought i was like oh no it's just been caught but no no it's, it's, it's all right so some has gone past uh i don't know whether chandra's gonna immediately come up here and uh, consume all of that yeah looks like so so we're gonna get an extra like two points of research i don't know whether the 
the extra. Like, I had 25 there. Were the five just wasted? We, do we get half a point of science for that? Is that a thing? Is there a, is there a little bit of a, a meter in the background that lets us know? I, I don't know. Chandra, unfortunately, not very good at the sciences, it turns out. Taking her time. I, I guess this is fine, though. I, I will have to ask her to move at some point, but I got a feeling she's going to run out of breath or rad bolts before that happened. Oh, uh, and she's away. So she made one science point and then ran away. I guess that's fine. Oh no, I was a moment too late. The rad bolts are already away. Uh, is she going to be able to move out of the way in time? <laughs> Run. I, oh, no. All right. It did technically hit her in the head. Okay. That's pretty bad because there's there's going to be some more coming soon. Uh, let, let's have a look. Oh, no, you're at 36. Okay. We do have a whole bunch of nuclear waste just sat right there now. Though. Uh, let, let's get that mopped up by someone. I don't know who. Someone should come along and do it, though. Hubble. Hubble came along and did it. All right. Great. I don't know what we're going to do with just this pile of, of waste here. it probably stay there. <laughs> Small magma update. It's taken time to dig down and under, but we're finally here and we're finally able to start pushing the magma back up. Uh, gonna get some ladders put in place, gonna slowly take out these tiles as and when uh, the tile behind them gets built. Yeah, and we, we're slowly just, just crushing that lava back out of the way, or magma, I suppose, is the actual in-game term. Hopefully now, oh, Kelvin is on their way. Mm, that's not quite what I want. Where are you going, Franklin? ranching uh, all right and this is this is why it takes so long because for some reason you think ranching is important and, and like it kind of is but it's not to you not to you franklin there we go uh operating where, where, where where's the ranching but you don't have those what that's not a priority for you at all <laughs> Okay, new plan. While Chandra is dealing with the rads in the in the supply here, uh, I've turned this all the way up to 500 uh, so that she can process all of the material, like get the, get the 10 science points out of here, uh, and then we let the uh, let the the stuff go. So I'd, I'd let it go now because she was breathing, but like obviously we don't have enough rads in the tank right now. But that that would be the plan. A bit intensive, but we're gonna let it go. I'm also in the middle of rerouting some pipes up here. I'm, I'm making Spitzer's life just a little bit worse uh, because I noticed that we're just constantly throwing extra water at oh these are all pipes full now I wonder what's going on with that uh, because obviously I'm very worried about this over pressuring it's, it's not until 150 kilo, uh, 150 kilos per cycle uh, around this and when we're, we're nowhere near that right now oh Spitzer mate you're in big trouble aren't you let's have a look yeah I don't know at what point the number of rads becomes an issue i'm probably gonna have to turn these down and just let let him uh can we can we get these finished is that is that a thing we can even do no okay i'm gonna just turn those down and l let him go deal with his radiation first because whilst that that's great we've got a much bigger buffer than i'm really making out mm, okay yeah let's we're just gonna sit here like this for a bit the idea is to try and stop any water being taken from this pipe here because all the water that gets take taken from here is new water. Oh, I'm Spitzer, I'm sorry. I, I really should... Uh, yeah, we should have taken more care of you. Should have taken more care. Speaking of how Chandra... Ah, she took it to the face. I wasn't paying enough attention. Wait, no, it couldn't couldn't have they weren't up at 500 no, nothing's released why have we got a bunch of new material here i just swept it all up maybe i'm crazy probably am but i don't think it's uh, eating as much water as it has been we were watching it eat relatively regularly and now we've got no uranium delivery what? what is going on with the system all of a sudden it's asking for the enriched uranium. You've got the eight. Ah, oh, I bet this is the wrong priority. Uh, of course, there we go. That, that's what was wrong. Uh, I replaced the lead one for gold. Okay, we now need to bring this back down to about 2% just to get it all working. Hopefully everything's working out fine. And that was about there. We'll, we'll just leave that there like that. Hopefully this will now boot back up. That wasn't the thing that was causing the water to to not be eaten. I just happened to have not been looking at the right time. I, unless it was. Unless because I was running low on uranium. I, don't, I really don't think that's how that works though. 
the liquid nuclear waste must be melting here. That's that's the only way that could be working. There's, there's got got to be something here. Maybe it's solidifying and then remelting afterwards. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure, but the buckets are emptying out here, and that's quite awkward. <laughs> Because uh, I'm not juggling enough things already. We've got ethanol in this line, uh, and it's not—it's not even a little bit. There's like two two kilograms there. Uh, mm, okay, that—that's only two. I thought I thought it said two two thousand kilograms, but like look look at this. We've broken there. I, I don't know how I'm going to fix this. We need to somehow get in and empty out the the line here i don't know if anybody has the ability to do so skill operation required oh we do have a couple of people who can do it i'll be very grateful to see that happening very grateful to see that happening you as well i i think we're just gonna dump a bunch of water on the floor and mop it up I th that's probably the best way to be doing this let's also deconstruct that we'll just see who does the things uh, i'm also uh, i'm sick and tired of waiting for these over here so i've put everything on a high priority so that everybody can go around and do it moving guard is my main aim for today uh, also fixing stuff it turns out okay emptying out the ethanol hasn't been too difficult the big problem has just been making sure they don't empty too much else out that 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 is definitely uh, a trouble uh, i've been obviously because that's my way has been using the alarms to make sure i can get this doing exactly what i want them to be doing because uh, it, it, it's working mostly Mostly, we we've got some some materials out here that I'd rather were not. Oh no, we uh, ripped up the oxyfern, uh, and then we've also down here got some ethanol, uh, freezing some water by the looks of it. Man, that's a lot of ice. That's a lot of ice. Also, finally at the last bit where we can start taking away all of this, and then we continue our step back on down the the, the way and uh, try and clear ev clear everything out. I don't think we've got anywhere, like maybe this bit here, that will cause us any troubles in the future. So I'm just going to slowly but surely march my way over to compress all the magma down here. And then I guess we get to rip it all out and start a new a new chapter in Reverse Lin's life. Any any ideas about what, what we can replace it with? Obviously, we're, we're going to have to think about... Oh, Chandra, that's that's not great. We're going to have to think about where we even get our igneous rock from anymore. Because once all that gets compressed down, all we've got is this little guy here. Which, you know, yeah, fine. Maybe we should turn the storage bin into an autoloader to start bringing stuff over. Man, the radiation is, uh, is pretty bad over this side. Maybe we should get a doctor. Uh, can we put an apothecary down? I don't think we've got anybody... With with the skills to use the apothecary that that's the problem there i'm sure compton or someone can can end up doing the job let, let, let's let's see what we can do let's see what we can do we need we need those anti-rad pills it's pretty serious okay compton with the medical compounding i've asked for a couple of rad pills to be made we've got enough to make two it turns out can we find any more coal we we, we need some more coal. i don't even know how the coal got over here i assume we just found some lying around somewhere uh we, we could probably do with sending some more uh, over on blagolia i realized i didn't have power everywhere and, and, and is that now the only thing stopping me going because we've now got water running into there i think i think that might be the only thing stopping me going I mean, I would like to have had more gases in here. Flying him over to Begolia might take, uh, not Begolia, to Irrigan might take some time. But I, I think we're, I think we're nearly good. I think we're nearly good to go. Okay, on Blagolia, we're going to change our destination to Irrigal. Oh, look at that. It's just over there. It's further away than the rocket's maximum range of zero. That's fine. Of course, we do need to pump some gases into there. That, that might be helpful. We'll fill up the uh, the tank a little bit. But I've also asked for people to... Uh, now we need to swap it to sweep only for a little bit. Uh, for people to drop any refined materials that they find lying around over here. I feel like we could do with taking some. Like, if we... Uh, for instance sweep up all of this right here and uh, may maybe we can get into some of these other bits where we've got a whole bunch of material that could definitely use moving somewhere okay i think i think that's oh down, down here of course we've got more excessive amounts of metal there's there's metal everywhere on this place and we uh, we're not very good at moving it around so i'm gonna ask for all of it to be put into this place here and we'll take it to somewhere that is good at moving stuff around Oh yeah, the rad pills are being made. That's good. I don't know if uh, anybody has the ability to eat them. Uh, that let's check the consumables. 
And here are my friends. Let's scroll down to the end. Uh, the rad pill, rad pill. You, you guys, you guys need to eat those. Go, go get some rad pills. We'll, we'll make them as and when we can. Chandra, of course, not having a great time now. <laughs> Okay, I think we're just about ready to go. Let's change the crew to Goddard over here. We've got food, we've got water. Oh, the wash basin isn't up and running. Hopefully someone's coming along to uh, mop up some stuff. Like we got we got some things over here. Where are you going, Faraday? Let's have a look. You're going this way and then up and then across and in, into the... Okay, this is, this is good. This is where we want people to be going. As soon as that wash basin is full, I think we're ready to get on out of here. I noticed that some raw food was being being put into my uh, storage. I've asked for that to get out of there, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens there. We're going to assign Goddard to that one, and of course, we'll assign Goddard just there. Oh, that was Goddard himself, the man himself. Beautiful. Let's have a look at the uh, the status down here. We could probably do. We don't even have five kilos. We got 500 grams. We, we got a tenth of what we needed. Okay, five kilos in the sink, that's good enough for us. We'll just ignore the millions of food germ that seem to be in there. Uh, I want to come outside. We want we want to make sure that all our crew are in there and ready to go. So I will click that button. Away a Goddard goes. Uh, the crew is boy, a pilot. It, does, does, wait, 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 wait. Does Goddard not have the skills? The the man is literally the father of rocketry. Okay, let's click on that. Look, at all. we we need um, very much to scrub him when he arrives. But let's acknowledge those warnings. Let's let the people go. We've got a pilot on board. We're not quite fully fueled, but we've got enough fuel, six tiles, to make it all the way to Irigal. And of course, we're not particularly... Acknowledge those warnings. Launch. Okay, I have to remember to click the button twice. That, uh, that's a thing that we need to do. Uh, all of the heat currently being dumped down into this steam box here. You can see the temperature spiking up and spreading out the temperature there. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Away we go. Oh, and some research has just rolled in that is amazing if we have a look at the star map it's gonna take us 1.7 cycles to get all the way over to Eric Gal, that gives us time to just quickly go hey new rocket uh, if we hello are you not in here Radbow engine. I, I want to see where you line up to. Okay, so we are off the mark. We, we kind of knew we would be uh, by one two three four Four? I need to lower this down by four. That's a lot. One, two, three, four. That's that's here. Hmm. Obviously, it's it's gonna get done. It's gonna get done, but uh, awkward, yo. Okay, there there was that move relatively quickly. Let's see how far off I was when I actually did that. Yeah, I I don't know how I thought that was for. Wait, what? How is this not where I want it? All I did was add... F what? <laughs> Okay, there was zero reason for that to have taken trial and error, but here we are, some trial and erroring later. We've got this in line with everything else. Of course, I don't want to build that because we're going to bring another rocket over here. Indeed, I just want to make sure that it's not lost now that it's there. Okay, any rocket platform. Yes, indeed. Can I rename my rocket platform? I can. I don't know what I would rename it to, but we could if we wanted to. And yes, I am aware we're about to have some problems with all this down here. That sounds like next episode problem, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's time to scrub Chandra. She's been here dealing with the stress of being the linchpin of the colony for too long. We're going to strip her down uh, and then give her the carrying strength and as much as the farming as she can handle. This, this, this seems like a good plan when she eventually gets out of the box. The asteroid turns into a new cycle. We've got 30 seconds to wait for Goddard to land down on Irigal here. I'm just having a look around at some of the uh, the things that are flying out and about the uh, interplanetary payloads. But this feels like two seconds. We could probably come down and watch this landing happen here. Uh, I'm a little bit scared. Ooh, I should have slowed that right down. A little bit scared about how hot this is going to get right here. I mean, the temperature is climbing, but I don't think we need to worry about it too much. The water does fall everywhere. And of course, everybody started trying come along and picking stuff up. Goddard is at the base I want him to have to be at, so I think with that I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we're going to remove this module and replace it with a Radbolt engine, but I will see you then when we're gonna do that. Looks like it's happening already. Bye!